In an era where hypersonic weapons and autonomous drones capture global attention, Russia's decision to unveil a new cruise missile for its Su-57 stealth fighter raises questions that extend far beyond the technical specifications of the weapon itself. On April 27, 2025, Russian state media showcased footage of an unnamed cruise missile, inspected by former President Dmitry Medvedev at a military test site, hinting at its integration with the Su-57, Russia's most advanced fighter jet. The Kremlin's timing, amidst ongoing geopolitical tensions and domestic challenges, suggests that this announcement is as much about signaling strength as it is about advancing military capabilities. What does this new weapon mean for Russia's strategic ambitions, and how does it fit into the broader landscape of global air power competition? The Su-57, known by its NATO reporting name, Felon, is Russia's attempt to field a fifth-generation stealth fighter capable of competing with Western counterparts like the US F-35 Lightning II and F-22 Raptor. Developed by Suhoi, the Su-57 first flew in 2010 and entered limited service with the Russian Aerospace Forces in 2020. Designed to perform air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions, the aircraft boasts advanced avionics, supercruise capability, and a reduced radar cross-section. Its airframe, measuring approximately 20 meters in length with a wingspan of 14 meters, is powered by two Saturn AL-41 F1 engines, with plans to upgrade to the more advanced ISDELI-30 engines for improved thrust and efficiency. The Su-57's internal weapons bays, critical for maintaining its stealth profile, can carry a range of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions, including the K-77M missile for engaging aircraft and the KH-69 cruise missile for precision strikes. Despite these features, the program has faced significant hurdles, producing only a handful of operational aircraft due to high costs, technical challenges, and Western sanctions impacting component supplies. The Su-57 and its new missile fit into this pattern of high-profile projects that aim to project power but often fall short of expectations. The Russian Aerospace Forces, while formidable in certain areas, struggle with pilot training, maintenance, and operational tempo, limitations that could undermine the Su-57's effectiveness even if the new missile proves viable. As the world watches Russia's next moves, one question lingers. Is the Su-57's new missile a genuine game-changer, or merely a shadow of ambitions constrained by reality?